Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be getting rid of this old steel cable winch line and converting it to synthetic winch line. A few videos back, I shared that I wanted to upgrade to synthetic winch line for a Clyde 2.0. Another channel called Off-Road Stuff reached out to me and hooked me up with this winch line from Freedom Ropes. Uh, I need to give him a big thank you and a big shout out for hooking me up. He didn't have to go out of his way to do this. And in return, I'm going to go ahead and I'll link his channel below in the description. You should definitely go check him out. He's building a pretty sweet four door sidekick and I, I think you will uh, enjoy. So this whole kit is from a company called Freedom Ropes out of, I think it's Oceano, Oceana, I don't know how to pronounce it, California. There's a little small shop. And, uh, you know, honestly, I didn't know they existed until he got a hold of me. So he's definitely doing them well. And now I'm going to share it to you guys. I guess they're really big in Ultra 4 racing and things like that. I definitely like supporting small businesses. Owning a small business myself is greatly appreciated. So I want to give these guys some love. Uh, for 162 bucks, you can get this, the winch line, a six foot tree saver. Mine's green because green, I got safety yellow. I don't really know. And then a soft jacket. So you get some cool stickers in there too. Uh, I think I'll be really happy with this product. We're definitely going to put it to the test. Uh, so probably in a, six months, we'll do a review on it and, uh, and I'll let you know how it really is. But I believe that this is a good quality product and it's going to do us well. So this winch line again is 3 8 in diameter. It's 80 feet long and it has a 20,000 pound brake strength, which is pretty impressive. Uh, again, I'm going to link off-road stuff in my description below. I will also link Freedom Ropes in the description below and link this exact product down there as well. So real quick, I wanna talk about the advantages of switching to synthetic winch line. And number one being safety. If this breaks, it's just gonna drop versus a steel cable when it breaks, it's just gonna slingshot, you know, that meaty hook into your head and the freaking winch line is probably gonna take your head off. And really, it's been an unsafe thing for many of years. I know it works good, but I think this, for the safety aspect, is worth it. Because this, is, this could save your life. So the second advantage to this winch line is going to be strength. Uh, there's research out there saying that synthetic line is 30 to even 90% stronger than your traditional steel cable. So I think having that extra strength along with the safety is a terrific aspect. The third advantage to this winch line over this winch line is weight. I don't know what this weighs, 20 pounds or so, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. But the synthetic line, oh man, you can curl it all day long. It weighs basically nothing, maybe three, four pounds. Another advantage, the fourth advantage to swapping to synthetic this, there's going to be no kinking this steel line will kink super easy this i mean it's packaged up with a further kink than this is going to handle if you kinked this line as much as that it's not going to go back to its original form so that is a big advantage there's no kinking it's just good quality stuff there are many other advantages such as this line is much easier to repair and safer to repair. And also, this is just all around easier to use and it's just more user friendly. So, I am happy to be upgrading. So, now let's go ahead and get this installed. So, before we can start swapping on the synthetic line, we need to get rid of and remove the steel cable line. I need to cut off this roller fairlead mount. Well, not mount, it's just welded to the stinger. Um, so we can swap it for a Haas Fairlead. So, yes, we're gonna have to cut off this Fairlead and we're gonna need to build a mount for the Haas Fairlead. Now, there are a couple of reasons why I'm gonna be switching to a Haas Fairlead. And one of those reasons is this roller Fairlead 
is trashed. I mean, it has got little gashes in it and it's just in really bad condition. So, you know, it can snag on the new synthetic line and just rip it up. Plus, these are pretty frozen. They've never been serviced or anything. And it was just, it's just not a good setup. Now there's a common myth with using synthetic line with a roller fairlead saying, oh, the two don't mix, you can't use it. You need to use a Haas fairlead for synthetic line. Well, that is completely wrong. You can actually use a synthetic line with a roller fair lead. I'm just choosing not to. Now, if you disagree with me, you can go do all your research and let me know why you can't use a fair, or the roller fair lead for your synthetic line. But for all the research I have done, it's a myth. You can use those two together. A lot of people say, oh, it'll get caught in the corners, things like that. If it's a well-designed fair lead, you know, by a good company, there's no way it's gonna get snagged in there. I mean, this some, this steel cable would get snagged in there if it was designed wrong. But for this application, I'm just gonna upgrade to a Haas fair lead, mainly because I need a new one. And I was able to pick one up at actually Harbor Freight for fairly cheap, and it was easy to get. And plus, another thing is these big fair leads weigh a lot. Not that I necessarily care about the weight, but dropping down to like an aluminum or whatever material that fair lead's made out of, we're dropping some weight, which is a cool thing. So the Haas fair lead I went with was the Badland from Harbor Freight. A couple of reasons why I got it was A, it was cheap, and B, I was able to just head on over to Harbor Freight and get it. I didn't have to order one online and wait. And really, I think this is a pretty good quality and it's a bit cheaper than most of them that you find online. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start working on removing the old winch line just to have it out of the way. It is kind of a rat's nest right now, so that's gonna be fun. So I'm just gonna do a free spool out and uh, start pulling this thing in. Oh, I better put it in gear. So I got all the winch line out, but now I need to remove the little screw in there to get the rest of the winch line off. I can't get the screwdriver in there, so I'm going to remove the winch, get that screw out, reinstall it, and then the next thing will be fabbing up a new fairlead mount. I got all this out, and that was a pain. Towards the end there, I kept trying to free spool it and it just was not happening. So, you know, we just uh, used the winch motor all the way out, got it. I probably should have left Clyde running because now the battery's dead. So that's freaking awesome. But uh, yeah, let's get this winch off. I should be able to just kind of prop the winch up. And get to that screw. I don't want to mess with the wiring and junk right now, to be honest. Good, it's not rusted in, so I can come right out. Oh, that was that was fun. That's it. Uh, now I gotta find that screw that went flying. Oh, it's right here. Gold. We would have lost that project ruined crisis avoided so i'm going to reinstall the winch now um i'm probably going to regret that but who knows you know what i'm not going to reinstall it because i'm going to have to get to that screw to install the new winch line so i'll leave it loose and then after i get that screw back in there with the new winch line then i'll remount it 
let's go ahead and get this fairly cut off so we can start building the new mount. Uh, don't forget your safety glasses. chopped off i did get into the into the stinger a little bit but i'll just weld it up and uh, it'll be good as new what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to take a little grinding disc and a flap wheel clean this up and then uh, we'll start fabricating <music> I did grind that down just a little bit for my ground clamp. Uh, obviously we'll paint everything. So it's gonna go somewhere in there. Now I need to make a mount for this fair lead. Um, I'm gonna use some eighth inch steel. I think it'll be perfect. And it's just gonna probably be something that goes side to side. And yeah, I'm not sure, but we're gonna play around and fabricate it. This piece of scrap metal, I hope it's plenty. It should be plenty. And uh, I think it's just gonna go somewhere like that. And we'll weld it up. And obviously cut, cut a hole in it, drill the holes, all that good stuff. Uh, hopefully the bolt holes don't interfere with the, with the stinger. I am worried about that. But uh, yeah, I might need a little more grinding. I'm going to go ahead and draw some lines on it, get it cut up, and go from there. We're just going to use my eyeballs on this one. No precise measurements. It's not, you know, exactly perfect, but we'll split the difference, and I think it'll be fine. Um, and I just use the, uh, just, you know, use my eye and cut it. No precise measurements, but uh, I think it's I think it's great. So what I'm gonna do now is mark out where to cut for the center of this so that uh, yeah, the windshield can come through. I think that part's gonna suck the most, to be honest, but uh, let's get her done. Everything's nice and smooth and looking good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tack it on there. I really wish I had a plasma cutter because this cut was not fun. It does feel a little weak, but hopefully when I weld it up, that'll solve that problem. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna tack this on there and then drill the holes to make sure that everything is where I need it to be. I don't wanna fully weld it and then have to cut it all off and restart. So I'll just tack it for now. Uh, again, I'm just gonna try to, you know, get it as close as I can and uh, we'll send it. All right, I got the holes drilled. Everything lines up great. It might be a little, a little crooked, just a little bit, but it'll be all right. But now that we know everything fits, we're gonna weld that bad boy up. ashamed of these welds so i'm not going to show you guys I had to hide them a little bit but uh, i think it's going to be nice and strong threw some black paint on there now we're ready to mount that fair lead and then get that winch line mounted and we are done with this project well now it's time for the moment we have been working towards it's getting this winch line put on we have this tab where you're going to screw into the existing hole where we removed the steel line from. I'm gonna go ahead, reinstall the winch. All right, so now it's time to start running the cable in, getting it all around the drum and nice and tight. What I did is I slid 
the winch line through and around the drum and then just put the screw back in. I'm currently charging the battery because it's dead from when I was running it out. This time we won't make that mistake. We'll start it and then start spooling it in. So I'd like to take a moment right before we start spooling in this winch line to ask you to please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, also go and follow us on Instagram at Track Kickoff Road. Well, this project is complete. I'm super happy with it. Uh, I'm not going to be putting a hook on the end of this. I figured I'll just use this D ring to keep it from sucking in and keeping it tight, but I'll just use the soft shackle when I hook up the things. And the reason for that is so there's no heavy metal, you know, that can fly through the air when it snaps. All right, so we got the synthetic winch line installed. It's good to go. I didn't spend a ton of time spooling it, getting it nice and perfect, because it is getting dark on me, but I will re-spool it here in the future. So again, a huge thank you for off-road stuff, for supporting the channel, and a thank you to Freedom Ropes for uh, you know giving him the hookup to give me the hookup. Uh, so far, I think it's a really good product. I'm happy with it. We're definitely gonna be putting it in the test here, putting it to the test here real soon. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please leave a like, and if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. You have a good one.